Today we'll be working with variables and data types. To remind you, a variable is kind of like a container that holds a certain value, and these variables we can use throughout our code to either manipulate, print, print out, or change values, or whatever we really want to. A good thing about variables as well is that the certain values in our code have names to them, so we know what they're used for. So, in order to work with variables, we'll be using a beautiful, very accurate gaming profile. And to start this off, we will we should note the name of the player. So to do this, since a, a player name is basically a string of characters, we'll use a string variable. And to start any variable off, we just name it. So let's say the name is player, player name. And we can either use for string variables, we can use double quotes, or we can use single quotes. The thing about single quotes, though, is that when you have words that have one apostrophe in it, it starts to mess with the string variable. So it's a better practice to just always use doubles. So we can do cool mini bed. And that is our string variable. The next thing we can note is if the player is on or off. Currently she's on, and instead of saying, like, doing a string variable and saying on, we can just say, is it true she's on or is it false she's on? And to do that, we use a Boolean, basically true or false variable. So, once again, starting a variable, we just name it. So, is player, player on? And then we do true, because she's on. A good thing to note is that Python is very, very, very sensitive. So, we can't do this. It doesn't turn blue, aka it doesn't work. And then we can't do this. Same thing. And the same thing works for false. You have to do it only one way. So let's turn this back to true because she's on. Another thing we can note is her player level. Currently, she's level 64, and 64 is a whole number, so we can use an integer variable. So let's start it off like we always do, naming it. Um, we'll just do level player, and then 64. So we can also represent her health as a number, but as we can see, there's half of a heart. That isn't a whole number, so we would use an integer, or sorry, we would use a float or a double variable. In like all other variables, we start off with naming it. Oh, I'm struggling with this one. Okay. So, something about Python is you don't, in the beginning of each of the variables, we don't really need to put the data type but this matters later when you're trying to print out things or manipulate things and one way we can say what kind of variable it is is by just putting it in front of it so technically oh sorry this is the same thing but it's telling the computer this is an integer and then the same thing can happen for line four. You can say this is a double or a float. You can say this is a boolean or what's a what's a what's a, right? It doesn't really matter right now, but when you're trying to print or when you're trying to manipulate variables, the, the level or line three can be very important. Okay, so to end off, I'll give you some tips. Oh, and a hashtag just is for a comment, aka when you run your code, it doesn't change your code. It's just kind of like, blank text. It doesn't it doesn't mess with the code. Anyway, so white space. White space is literally just means stuff in between characters. All of this is oops, all of this is white space. It doesn't really matter. You can have as much white space as you want. This is gonna run as if all this white space isn't there. But as you can see it's not as fun to read, especially if all of your code looks like that. So a good habit is to have white space like this one. We get rid of all of that white space. Another tip is naming variables. Oh no. <laughs> naming variables is, it's just like, the names you use is kind of important since me and you are supposed to be able to read the same code. And if your code is like this, I don't know what PN means, and in a few weeks, you probably won't know either. So it's a good habit to just start off with descriptive player names, or descriptive variable names. 
Another thing I would like to note is... Oh, space spaces. So white space is okay, but spaces in between variables is not. Let's take this for instance. Hold on. This is not a variable. Line four is not a variable anymore because you cannot have spaces in a variable name. So that's why we either do, there's a couple of ways people go around this. They can do the underline like I did before. Some people simply just capitalize the second word. So it's like, these are two separate words. And then some people do both. It all is whatever you want. However, you cannot have spaces. And that is all for variables and data types. <laughs>